What is up everyone? Today we are ready for germination. So I wanted to go ahead and show you guys exactly how I do this step. Fast Buds mentioned it would be good to gather a bunch of information on how everybody likes to germinate. So this is BK's method of germination. I also use a germination station, which I will go over here in just a little bit. So to go over the supplies first, Here's a couple of things that you need. Number one, paper towels. Number two, a container with a pretty tight fitting lid. Uh, and it just, it doesn't have to be any size, just something that is large enough to put the seeds in that you're wanting to start germinating. I like to use a spoon to handle my seeds, just makes it a little bit easier. Obviously you have to have your seeds right here. And then I am using a spray bottle uh, with water that I will use to go ahead and get these guys wet. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this. So the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and get our container ready. And what I like to do is I like to just take my container and I like to line the bottom of it with some paper towels. So uh, since I've done this before, I already have a paper towel on the bottom here that just fits right in. So I go ahead and just kind of fit that in there. And then I take my spray bottle and I'm just going to go ahead and wet it up pretty good. And then you can see the, the water in there. Now you don't want it super wet. You don't want it to be like really runny water. You do kind of just want it to be a nice consistently moist paper towel everywhere. And I kind of just pat it down and keep spraying it till I get it the consistency that I want which is about right there seems about perfect so like i say you just don't want it running out when you tip over your container you may get a drip or two but otherwise that's pretty good so okay and then the next step that's pretty simple we're going to go ahead and take our seeds we'll go ahead and get our seeds out and i'm just going to dump them right in here because it doesn't really matter i'm not going to be handling them today we'll just go ahead and push them right in here and then I'll rearrange so you can see. So then I take my spoon, and since I lost one down there, go ahead and bring it back up. And then so what I do is I just go ahead and arrange these. It really doesn't matter how you arrange them. You just want to make sure that they're in a spot where you know where they're at. So if I can quit losing seeds here, let me go ahead and set this down, and then I'll set them and show you. So I'm just moving them over right in the center where I want them you guys can see that anyway so that's pretty simple and then I just gently make sure that they're pushed into the paper towel a little bit and then when you got them all set in your paper towel and your moist paper towel in here all I do is I just go ahead and take another clean paper towel and I go ahead and wet it down pretty good Okay, once it starts to get moist, I'm just going to go ahead and lay it right in over the top of these guys. And then I'm just going to go ahead and finish spraying it to get that nice, even moist consistency that I was talking about earlier. Now this step, you can see the seeds in here, right here, here, and here. This step right here, I like to just very, very gently run my finger around and just kind of tap it just to make sure that they're touching the paper towel on both sides. So I go ahead and get all of this done and set in there. Say, so really this is pretty easy to do. I have not had any problems since I started following this technique exactly. So anyway, there's the seeds. You can see them in there and they are ready to go. So let's go ahead and put the lid on. When you put the lid on, you want to close it up almost all the way, but not 100% tight. You can see on this side, I'm gonna leave it open just a little bit, and that's gonna allow moisture to go out. So let's head on over to the germination station, which is just a heating pad that's actually hooked up to a timer over here. It turns on and off every half hour. I'll go ahead and put it in zip it up and in about 24 hours these guys are going to be ready to plant in the soil.